Well, the holidays are here. It is time for fun with your family and your friends and food. Don't forget the food. Chef Curtis Stone just been named uh, Eater LA Chef of the Year by the readers and the editor. And today, Chef Stone's going to show us how to put together a delicious, and I've always wondered if I'm saying this right, charcuterie? Charcuterie, exactly. Oh, yep. good, mm -hmm. good, good. <laughs> so, this is something that you offer at the menu at Gwen. You have this That's fabulous right. fresh butcher shop and the, yeah. and the restaurant. Just name most beautiful restaurant in the U.S. Yeah, thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you. It's, look, it's a butcher shop and a restaurant. Mm -hmm. And the idea with the butcher shop is we can, of course, we sell beautiful fresh meat, but we also make all of our own charcuterie. So, charcuterie can kind of divide into two. Dry cure, which I've brought a big sampling on over here, mm -hmm. and we make a variety of salamis, whole mussels like the copa, which is made from the shoulder, um, the the black backstrap ham, uh, and I'm just going to start building up this charcuterie board as we go. Okay, and, and this this is great because you're invited to a party. You 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 can do this kind of last minute. Just grab oh, yeah. a bunch of different uh, items, a, yeah. a nice variety. And, and let somebody no else cooking. do all the work. Yeah, There's and no, no cooking. cooking required. <laughs> Just come and see us. On so Sunset the, the meats are your f first choice to, to sort of fill up the plate. I really love it. It's you know a variety of different salamis, and th that way you've sort of got something for everybody's taste. I've got a Spanish chorizo here, which is quite uh, spicy, but then there's other really mild things that don't have any spice. So, so you want to pick a, se a selection of flavors, and right. how do we know how much per person? Um, look, I think you know if you sort of it depends what else you're serving. If you're serving dinner afterwards, then this would just be an appetizer. Um, you'd need much less, maybe three or four slices per person. If this is sort of going to be something to pick out with some cheeses and bread throughout the evening and that's dinner, then you want to look for like seven to eight slices per okay. person. And the way you supplement it is that's all the dry cure. And I'm going to pick that up and just pop that down here. Hit right on the floor. Um, and then <laughs> what, what we do next is the wet cure. Okay, uh, so, so these it's just are a different kind of um, meat that you're picking? Yeah, right, so we, we make these out of everything from venison and rabbit all the way through to pigeons and, and pork. So there's so many Many different ways you can do it, but you can just pop a couple of these slices of terrine onto your board. Okay, what else should be on on a on a, a charcuterie? The, it, it, the not not is, just meat, right? There's there's bread, there's cheese, and you've got a whole bunch of other right, goodies on here. Right, a whole bunch of little pickles. So these are quick pickles that you can make yourself, or you can of course uh, pick up from a deli. But anything from little um, dill cucumbers to mm -hmm. uh, different cauliflowers that you just literally put some sugar, Look how pretty a little that is, salt, indeed. some vinegar, bring it to the boil, pour it over, and let it go cold. And and, and, and some it. nuts. Some um, marcona almonds. Oh, if you want to serve a soft cheese, I've got a little burrata here. Um, with a little basil oil that I'm gonna just Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. Even smoked salmon, you know, you can put some um, some cured fish and things like that on, onto a charcuterie and board And bread, as well. crackers. Yeah, and and again, a, you have a nice selection. A good variety, you know, some grassini, and we bake all this in-house, but you know, you can pick it up, you can pick up good bread and crackers from a variety of different places if you can't get down to see us at Gwen. So, um, you know, and then of course the condiments are also important. So I've got a couple of different mustards here, a mustada, which has a little sweetness, a pomery, mm. grainy mustard. Um, they're also nice. Just and you want to keep those separate so your crackers and everything don't get soggy. I like to, and some people will put the pickles on the platter, but I like to sort of just put them in little bowls because, of course, there's some moisture in there, and you don't want that sort of um, leaking out onto the uh, onto the so cured meats. So yummy, mm -hmm. chef! Thank you so much okay. again. His restaurants, Gwen, the new one on Sunset mm -hmm. in Hollywood, and also Mod. For any last-minute holiday entertaining ideas, just go to our website, kcal9.com. Click Scene on TV. Chef Curtis Stone, thanks so much. No worries.